Memorial Day weekend, 1995, strange things happened in the Tonto National Forest in Arizona. Devin Williams was a 29-year-old trucker from America's Kansas. He had driven out from Kansas to Los Angeles where he delivered a load of produce and picked up a load of lettuce and strawberries that Friday. On Saturday, he called into dispatch telling them that he was now in Kingman, Arizona and that he had not been able to get any sleep. He was going to try to take a nap and then he was going to make his way to Kansas City by Monday morning. Nothing seemed to miss, but then on Sunday morning in Tonto National Forest, first some campers were rather alarmed because they nearly got hit by a big rig that was barreling down the dirt road in the forest. The driver of the big rig imprinted on their minds because you know this was so terrifying that they saw him and he had like this blank stare and his mouth was hanging open as he just barreled by as if he didn't even see them. They noticed a couple more times the truck turning around and coming back, back and forth, barreling down the dirt roads. This was really, really weird. Later on that day, a different family group were driving along and they saw a big rig stranded in a meadow and the dad decided to go check it out in case there was somebody hurt or something and as he approached the big rig he saw a man standing next to it muttering to himself you know he was like really puzzled so he's like hey are you okay what's going on are you all right and then the guy slowly turned around and looked at him but he was look, like looking right through him and the guy was working his jaw his mouth was moving around and no sound was coming out for a little bit but then the guy goes i'm not getting out of this alive and the dad was just kind of like okay this is really weird and so he just like backed away and the guy turned around again and was just standing there muttering some more and so the dad reported this um the campers had also reported the strange goings on with the with the truck but you know nobody came out yet you know, it was memorial day weekend and later on those original campers were leaving the forest when they spotted Hello? a guy Hello? at the side of the road striking a 20 dollar bill with a rock and they thought that was pretty weird so they just kind of like shouted to him hey What's up? Hello? You need any help? And the guy's like, I'm just trying to light this grill. And there was no grill there. But when he told him, I'm trying to light this grill, you know, he turned and looked at them and they recognized him as being the blank faced truck driver they had seen earlier. So they reported him to the rangers when they were leaving the forest. They thought maybe he was having some kind of mental breakdown. Anyway, Monday morning, Devin did not show up in Kansas City. Dispatch started looking for him. They reported the missing truck. And so police finally went out to the forest because, you know, they had had these reports of the weird truck and the truck in the meadow and the strange guy. And they get to the meadow and there was the truck. It was abandoned. It had lettuce and strawberries inside of it. And there was no sign whatsoever of Devin. They looked everywhere. They had a search team. And they couldn't find him. There was there was nothing. It was it was a mystery. He had completely vanished. Well, two years later, some hikers discovered a large rock on the path in front of them, and you know that was unusual. So they went to take a better look at the rock, and discovered that it was a skull. The skull was sent in for testing, and through dental work, they identified the skull as belonging to Devin. They never found the rest of his body. There's no cause of death. To this day, it's a mystery.